LGBTQ youth drop out of uh, organized team sports at uh, an alarming rate, much higher than their heterosexual peers, and particularly young gay men. June is Pride Month, and teams around the world are flying the Pride flag. But the reality is the sports community has a long way to go when it comes to inclusiveness. That drove three friends with the simple idea to promote change through tape. We felt it was important to create this badge of honor uh, that, that people could utilize as a symbol to show that uh, hockey is a safe space and the locker room is a safe space for people to participate. The creators of Pride Tape made it so that sports would be more of an inclusive environment for the LGBTQ community and also start a discussion. The power of Pride Tape is, is not in the tape, it's in the people. It's, it, the first step is just wrapping your stick but the more important um, step is the conversation that it engenders. It really allows you to say that I'm an ally without having to say any words. And we know how powerful that can be for someone who's on that team who may be um, you know, struggling with their uh, sex sexual orientation or their gender identity to know that there's someone there who they can talk to or that they can reach out to. The movement quickly caught on with NHL players using the tape and inspiring people of all ages around the world to use the tape from the not-for-profit campaign. We're, you know, we're shipping to over 21 countries um, and every every state and province. So some of the states where you thought maybe this wouldn't work um, really has, has been embraced. So there really isn't any boundaries and we're worldwide support. I mean, every day we just, we just shipped to UK yesterday. The tape isn't just used in hockey, even though there's no baseball right now because of COVID-19. Minor league baseball teams across the states this week taped their bats for the strikeout hate campaign. It was just so cool to see the baseball bat wrapped in pride tape, you know, uh, with team names that we had never heard of before, but now we're, we're total fans ourselves. That's our goal is to get this out to as many people who are going to use it because we know that the power is in the conversation um, that people uh, want to have in their in their communities. You can look forward to seeing Pride Tape in the Premier Lacrosse League. They're going to be using it to encourage inclusivity and conversation. And if you don't play sports, don't worry, you can put the tape on anything. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.